Hi, I'm Dave Foy from Design Build Web. If you're building sales funnels and landing pages in WordPress for yourself or for clients, Elementor is a bit of a dream come true. Super easy to create conversion focused landing pages, drag and drop directly there in WordPress. Now, of course, if you're serious about the performance of your landing pages and want to squeeze the most conversions possible, which you do, then you need to be split testing those landing pages. Now, if you don't know what split testing is, sometimes called A-B testing, I'll explain it in a second. Usually I'd use a third party tool like Optimizely for split testing, but there's a new free split testing plugin for Elementor that's literally just been released. You can run and manage split tests directly in Elementor, right there in your WordPress admin panel. It's called Split Test for Elementor, and in this video, I'll be taking it for a run out and seeing how it can help you split test landing pages directly in WordPress. Let's dive in. Now this particular video won't be an in-depth how-to about split testing as such. I'll focus more on reviewing the plugin. I do have a training program that teaches you how to plan, build and manage sales funnels with WordPress and Elementor. It's called No Fear Funnels. I only open it a few times a year. If you're interested, you can sign up to be notified here. I'll pop a link below the video. So very briefly, what's split testing? Well, it's a method of improving the conversion performance of pages on your website. So say I have a landing page. Here's one I made earlier. This is a landing page that we've made in the No Fear Funnels course, actually. Now this page has one job, to get someone to give us their email address in return for this free guide. Everything on this page is focused on that conversion goal, opting into our list. If we can improve the conversion rate, meaning the percentage of signups from everyone who sees this page, even just improve that incrementally a bit here and a bit there over time, will drive more signups, more sales, and more revenue from the same amount of traffic. Now it's much harder to get more traffic than it is to convert what you already have. Now it's worth me saying here quickly, you only really want to be looking at conversion optimization like this, split testing, when you've got some decent traffic and decent numbers of conversions already. Otherwise, you just don't have enough data to make reliable decisions. So if you don't have traffic, concentrate on getting that first. Anyway, so typical things to look to tweak to improve conversions will be things like the headline, the copy, the image, the button, the text on the button, the color of the button, the size of the button, its position on the page, all kinds of things. People have strong opinions on how to run split tests or A-B tests, how many elements you should test at a time, the number of variations per test. Here's the oversimplified version, just for clarity if you're new to split testing. So the basic idea is you change one element at a time on the page to see if it improves conversions. Now I might decide to change the color of this button, for example, to green. So see if more people opt in, if we have a higher conversion rate, with a green call to action button than a red one. So we'd create two variations of the button color, one red, one green. And our split testing tool, like the plugin I'm about to show you, will show version A of the page with the red button to 50% of the visitors and version B with a green button to the other 50%. And then after enough traffic has seen the page, we'd see which version had the higher conversion rate. And the version with the highest conversion rate is the winner. That version becomes the live version for all visitors from now on. So let's have a look at the new split test for Elementor plugin. Just bear in mind, this plugin has just been released at the time of making this video. It's really early days. There's a free version here on the WordPress repo, and there's a paid pro version too that's on the developer's site, Rocket Elements. I'll pop links to both below this video, and I'll go into the difference between the two versions in a moment. What I already love about this is it's a separate add-on to Elementor. I'd hate the Elementor team to add functionality like this to Elementor itself. I mean, Divi has got a built-in split testing tool and Divi is a bloated mess. Elementor is not. I say, let's keep it that way. Okay, let's set up a split test. So I'm editing this landing page with Elementor and I'm gonna test changing the button color. So to set up that test, well, you can set up a test either here in the landing page or in the plugin settings in the WordPress admin panel. I'll show you how to do it from here first. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. So you click into the settings for the section that the button is in, in advanced, come down to the split test panel, 
add a new test. I'll give this test a name that we'll understand later on. I'll go with button color. British spelling there for you. So that describes what we're testing. Save the test. Now to add variations. Remember, we're going with two variations here. So I'll add the first variation. Let's call it red button, obviously. I'll choose to show that to 50% of visitors. Now, if we had four variations, for example, you know, four different colors we were testing, we'd show each to 25% of visitors. I'll save that variation. That is number one. So this section has been saved as button color variation number one containing the red button. Right now, you have to save entire sections as variations. You can't make variations of individual widgets. More on that later. Now another variation for the green button. So I'll have to create a separate section. So I'll duplicate this one. So we right click the section and choose duplicate. Scroll down to this section here, the new one. I'll change the button on this section to green. And now to assign this green button section as variation number two. So that's section settings again, advanced, down to split test. So yeah, we're still assigning this to the button color split test. No, you could have several different tests available in this dropdown. We only have one right now. Choose a split test variation for this section. This is green button. Again, it's just for our future reference when we're looking at the stats later. Now I'll save this landing page. We're done. I'll just visit the page now. Let's see which variation the plugin decides to show me. So I'm seeing the red button version here at random. That was variation one. And the plugin sets a cookie in the browser. So I'll always see the red button each time I visit this page. Right, let's go back into the WordPress admin and see what the stats show us so far. So we have a new split test menu here. And there's the button color test that we set up here. And if I edit, and there are two named variations. By the way, as I mentioned earlier, you can actually create your test and the various variation names here first if you want to, and then they'll already be available in the drop-down list in Elementor. Doesn't matter which way around you do it. Let's come back up. And here are the stats. So there's my visit recorded, that's great, but no conversions. And of course, that's because I've not told the plugin what constitutes a conversion. All I've done is visited the landing page so far and seen one of the variations. So I need to add conversion tracking to the thanks page that people see after submitting the form on the landing page. And so when someone lands on the thanks page, it will register a conversion in the stats. Just before I do that, it's confusing. It's got a green color for the red button test and a red color for the green button test. Now they're just random colors set by the plugin so that you can see each variation clearly in the stats. They just happen to be the two button colors we're testing. Anyway, let's go into pages and I'll edit the thanks page for this landing pages form. So this is the thank you page that people see. So to add the conversion tracking, there's a new split test conversion widget down here at the bottom of the widgets list. I'll just pop it below this text. You could add a whole new section at the top of the page, for example, and put the widget in there if you wanted to keep it separate. You just set the section's columns gap to no gap. Otherwise, the section would add extra white space to your page. Now, in the conversion widget settings, I need to select the test that this widget is tracking so that it matches up. And now we'll save the thanks page. Time for a test. So I'll follow the same path as a regular visitor would. So I'll go back to my landing page in a browser. So yeah, send me my free guide. I'll pop in my name and email and hit submit. And boom, there's the thanks page. So now let's see if that's tracked a conversion against someone viewing the red button. Remember that was the one I saw. So we come back to the WordPress admin under the split test menu. Here's the test I set up and click into statistics. There it is one conversion for the variation I saw, and you get a nice graph and a chart and a table. And you can later also filter the results by date as well. So once you've run this test out long enough for plenty of traffic to see the page, then you can see which version is the winner. Now at the absolute bare minimum, you want a hundred pairs of eyes on the landing page, ideally a thousand or more for more accurate results. The more traffic that sees the page, the more accurate your results will be. If you haven't got enough traffic, focus on getting more traffic first, not split testing. Anyway, once you have a winner, you keep the winning version and you delete the losing version. And then you run more tests. You can test different headlines, different copy, different images, different layout, different positions, 
all kinds of things and keep gradually increasing the conversion rate over time. Now, as I say, this is really early days for this plugin. It's literally just been released. But as a simple alternative to third-party tools like Google Optimize and Optimizely, built right into WordPress and integrated directly with Elementor, it's looking very promising. There are a few things that I think need improving, but first, just to mention that in the free version, you can run just two variations per test, but in the paid pro version, that unlocks unlimited variations. That's the only difference between free and paid right now, but the developers tell me they'll be adding more testing targets soon and other features based on user feedback. One thing to note, when you test multiple variations in a test, you introduce a statistical risk of false positives and that accumulates, that risk gets bigger with every additional variation you test for. I don't pretend to understand the theory behind it, but I do know that other tools like Optimizely and Google Optimize, they run some complex math to correct for that particular error. I'm not sure if this plugin does that yet, but it's just something to bear in mind. I can't stress enough this is early days for this plugin, but after my trial run, I've got a few suggestions as well as a few from friends who've tried it too. I mean, some of these might already have been implemented by the time you see this video, I don't know. Uh, in the editor, I mean, I'm only running two variations here on the landing page and already the page is a bit messy to edit. It would be nice to be able to show and hide the variations just to make editing the page easier. It'd be good to have it obvious which sections are being split tested. I only know right now by clicking into the section settings, which can get confusing. Some kind of visual indicator around the section will be good. I'd like eventually to be able to split test individual widgets. So just the button widget in my example, not the entire section. And I'd like eventually to be able to test entire pages as well. The method of setting tracking of the conversion page, the thanks page, is a bit clunky. So you have to drag the widget onto the thanks page. I think it'd be nicer to be able to set your conversion page from a drop down menu in the test editor in WordPress. And finally, the ability to test more conversion targets will be fantastic. Currently, it's just a page destination. Testing form submissions would be nice, testing button clicks too, even testing someone scrolling down to a certain point on the same page. So for example, to test which headline at the top encourages people to read further down the page. So well done the guys at Rocket Elements for this idea. Very promising indeed. I'll be using it myself and keeping a close eye. As I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in planning and building high converting sales funnels with WordPress and Elementor, I have a training program called No Fear Funnels. It opens a few times a year for enrollment. You can sign up to be notified. I'll drop the link below the video. Now, if you like this video and found it useful, do me a favor, click the thumbs up under the video and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Okay, happy split testing. I'll see you soon.